him bringing up the subject, you're going to say, okay, Jones isn't bragging. This is a fact. Because believe me, I don't want to be the leading expert on this. I've been through hell dealing with this in the last six years. And that's questioning mass shootings. That's questioning terror attacks. That's questioning events. And it, it's good to do that. I mean, we know 9-11 had major anomalies. And Jesse Smollett lied about what happened to him. And the Governor Whitmer kidnapping was fake. That's all come out. When the internet 11 years ago questioned Sandy Hook and it was super viral, I looked at it and saw some anomalies, thought, yeah, maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. And I came to the belief before I was ever sued that, yeah, I think kids died there. And then they sued me and then they claimed I was the guy that originally brought all this up, which wasn't true. But now with the case of President Trump last Saturday being shot in Butler, Pennsylvania, we've seen the entire corporate media at first, Forbes, AP Reuters say, well, he just fell down or there was some popping noises. This is just an incident. So we saw them soft pedal it. And then we've seen all the major talk show hosts like Joy Reid on MSNBC put out countless videos, a new one today with tens of millions of views, literally saying she thinks it's fake. She says, oh, somebody really shot Trump supporters because there's real you know, dead person and wounded people there. But Trump, you know, this is probably made up with Trump. So, so there's a lot to unpack here and let me go through it. First off, Joy Reid has a right to wear her Trump wig. She has a right to say she hates America. She has a right to say get rid of free speech. She has a right to say take her guns. It's First Amendment. And people have a right to say they don't think Trump was shot. They have a right to question things. That, that, that's something they have a right to do. But they're instantly, it took me years to say maybe Sandy Hook didn't happen. These people are instantly saying it's completely staged and Trump touched his ear with like a blood bag patch like a professional wrestler. No, when you get shot in the ear, you touch it and see what happened. So let's just be clear. People have a First Amendment right to do this. We don't want to become the left and call for firing people or arresting people or suing people uh, because they say something that you disagree with. But, but the difference is with what I've covered and made films about false flags, I was simply analyzing something to see if that was the case. And none of the things the corporate media said I ever did, did I do. Didn't send people to people's houses. Didn't pee on graves. No evidence that was ever shown. But then I see people all over the internet, I mean, I'm talking like 50 million views a day on different articles and videos saying, you're gonna get the Alex Jones treatment now. How dare you question this shooting? We're gonna sue you. Joy Reid is a moron. We know that. Anybody that knows guns and knows trajectory and knows ballistics saw it and sees the hole right here in his ear and then it comes right back out the back. And you see Trump and you see people behind him getting shot as the five shots come in. So they've got a big problem. This isn't like Sandy Hook that well, there was no cameras and they weren't on and uh, there was no locks on the doors and you know all the weirdness that went on, all the anomalies that made people question. This is on national, international television when this happened. And so Joy Reid has a right to come out and say this. She has a right to say the moon's made out of cheese. But the reality is that we cannot allow their type of speech to then be an excuse to take everybody else's speech. Because if you take Joy Reid's speech and you fire her or, or you sue her or you people call for criminal charges, we've just become everything we're fighting. The vast majority, 98% of people know that Trump got shot. They know there was a stand down. They know they let the guy on the roof. They understand all of that. And so let people debate, let people discuss. That's what freedom is about. You have a right to listen to what you want, to read what you want, to see what you want. People that tell you, oh, take Alex Jones off the air, take Joy Reid off the air, they don't believe you're smart enough to be able to make your own decisions. So that firefighter shielding his wife and daughter, he got killed. Other people got wounded. This was 100% real. And, and, and you can see it happening in live time. And so don't censor the people that are saying preposterous, crazy things. Have the right to then counter them and excoriate them and expose them. That's what this is all about. And listen, I've gone on the limbs many times. I've been right most of the time, wrong sometimes. People say Alex Jones is always right. No, I'm right most of the time, but I come from a good place. I got up whatever weekend morning that was and heard Jesse Smollett, 25 below, Chicago, 2.30 in the morning, men in MAGA outfits run up and dump bleach on him and put a rope around his neck and beat him up. And, the, and I came out and said, this sounds fake. And then of course it turned out it was fake. And of course you had the NASCAR drivers and they put nooses up in his deal, that was fake. So, so this goes on and on and on. So, so it's good to question. It's okay to question. And when people are questioning something that's idiotic, it just blows up in their face. That's what this is all about. But if you watch her latest video, she is completely desperate. 
They're having a funeral for this guy. Trump's going to it. People saw people shot. The shooter got shot. All of this happened. And then she asked, well, why aren't we getting a Secret Service report? Why aren't we getting where the shooter was and what happened? Because the Secret Service advance team set this up. Because they let the guy in for hours. Because he milled around underneath the building with a rangefinder. Because they let him up on the roof for 26 minutes. So Mayorkas and Obama's minion, Biden, run the Secret Service and run Homeland Security. The same ones smuggling kids in across the border. They admit they're doing. And so you're asking, why are not getting a report? You're not getting a report because your bosses in the Democratic Party are in control of that agency. But we have the videos. We have the witnesses. The Internet's already in the and in, in, in independent news has already reconstructed it all. And it's confirmed. You've got former top sniper commanders like Congressman Mills in Florida coming out days ago saying, no, he had help. This was this was an inside job. And the CNN reporter goes, are you saying Biden did it? He goes, no, I'm saying obviously there was help. All the normal controls were cut down. They were cut off. This was a staged event. So again, all evidence shows this really happened. There's not even a question in my mind. You can see the ballistics. You can see it all for yourself. But Joy Reid has a right to question it. But separately, Democrats are everywhere saying, we hope Trump dies. We hope he gets killed. Jack Black saying, you know, too bad they missed. All the rest of this stuff. But then separately also, oh, it's fake at the same time. And I played the clips on my show today where they want to kill Trump and they want him assassinated. These, these are disgusting people. And they've now gotten what they wanted and the Democratic Party's evil control of America is coming to an end. They're trying a hot coup against the country right now. And let me tell you, they're going to try to kill Joe Biden if he doesn't leave. That's why Biden's canceled his trips. It's, it's not about uh, COVID. This is about the deep state letting all these presidents know you're not in charge, we're in charge. So Joy Reid gets to speak, just like Bill Maher said about Alex Jones, yours truly. He said, listen, I don't like Alex Jones, whatever. Everybody gets to speak. That's how America works. Joy Reid gets to speak, and she hurts herself. She's an idiot. She's a complete moron. So let her say what she wants. We are big enough as adults to hear what she has to say. I'll be covering it all on my show today and tonight. We've got live coverage of Trump's speech, the RNC. charts a couple of months old and if you uh, want to really see something that said take a look at what happened oh. that chart that chart's a couple of months old and if you uh, want to really see something that said take a look at what happened oh. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh.